Welcome back to Pittsburgh Today Live. It's time for more crafting. All right, we are back with the Pittsburgh Center for Creative Reuse, Executive Director Ash Andrews, and Creative Education Manager Nora Gilchrist. Hey. And we are continuing our crafts. What are you guys making over here? Making some good stuff? Cool, <laughs> cool. Anything good? And everybody having fun though, right? Yeah. yeah. I see like we're it. making medals down here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You guys have a lot of really cool stuff coming up. We sure do. Yeah, Got some programs do. coming up, Nora. We do. So um, one thing that we're doing this weekend is with um, Trying Together, we're going to be at the Homewood Early Learning Block Party, and that's in Homewood, obviously. That's on Saturday. Um, we're, we're also going to be part of the Remake Learning Days, which is coming up next month, not until May, but it's a good thing to start looking into and um, checking that out online. We'll have our own Creative Conundrum Lab at Creative Reuse on May 19th, 2.30 to 5.30. What is we'll be, that? It's basic, basically we choose some kind of material that is really interesting and unusual and we explore the possibilities of it. So we pick something and then just kind of see where we can take it. We come prepared with examples, but then we see you know, what okay. the creative imaginations of the people who show up come up, come up with. And so what do you do with some of the kids that may come in and maybe they're having trouble getting started? They see some cool stuff that they like, they're touching it, they're feeling, but they don't know what to do. Kind of organize Definitely. those thoughts a little bit? Definitely. We always have some examples to show them and we always just kind of, I always like to tell people to go to the thing that they find the most interesting, choose the items that are really attractive and interesting to them, and then to just kind of take it from there. And we always are there to help them. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? No? What are you, what are you making <laughs> down here? Um, I think a flower crown has been. Okay. You're going to let, let, just see what it where it takes you? Okay. All right. And I, I think it's important to mention, too, because I know we've talked to you about this before, but you do programs for adults as well. We do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If adults are interested in having birthday parties or us come by for the graduation party, you can call us up and we'll put together something age appropriate and really interesting for everybody. And you do crafts in bars? <laughs> Sometimes we do crafts in bars also. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked to scientists to go to bars and yeah. answer questions. So yeah. I think it's totally cool. That's very All cool. sorts of things happen in bars. And so. you guys are you guys are busy working down here. What are you making down here? It looks like you have a black and gold bracelet, is that right? Yeah? Okay. I kind of like have a, a scrunchie a little should I should I do this? Yeah. Should I go yeah. should I go for it? Yeah, we think oh so. yeah. Think okay. That's, really nice. that's cute. That. We'll just kinda give it one of these. Adorable. Really okay. <laughs> what, do, what do we think? Does that work? So that's yes. not working for me? It's definitely. Really okay. so that's a pom pom attached totally. to a gum band. <laughs> Wait, is a pom pom good? attached to a gum band? Yeah. Here you mm -hmm. go. Nice. Is it a that's good look for TV? What do you guys go. think? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love your honesty. <laughs> Declan, what are you making? Uh, a metal? I don't know what to do with this yet. I'm trying to It's called a CD. I know. But oh, you do I don't know. know. Okay. What to do with it. We had an example here of something we made with a CD, kind of like a sun catcher that you can maybe dangle outside or somewhere that the sun will catch it and be interesting in the garden or something. Oh, so maybe yeah, you if could you do that. Very in neat. your garden, then the birds won't come in and mm -hmm. eat all your strawberries. That's a good point. Yeah. And what are you making? You made like a little flower I made a headdress? Headband, and then I put Wait, pom poms on my shoes. Oh, that, you know what? That probably would work much better than in the hair. I like yeah. that. Okay. I think it's better like that. And what did you make down here? Or what are you wearing, I should ask you? You have a little metal on. A bracelet. You have a bracelet. But what metal are you wearing? I should ask you about that. You have some metals there. Very cool. Oh, all kinds of your, metals. You brought your bling today. I wow. like that. Okay, anybody else want to share what they're making? Yes. Okay, what are you making? I'm making some sort of weird necklace. <laughs> Love it. Accessorize. Go with it. Okay, well, thank, and, and so any else, anything else we should know about? You mentioned before in the last segment about the $5. Oh, yeah, thing. reclaim on May 12th. Okay. That's, that's a $5. Take as much materials as you want, uh, $5. And then also all May long, we're having a yarn sale. So for oh, $15, good. you can fill up a huge size bag, all sorts of different yarn, acrylic, wool, and so forth for just $15 all May. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, guys, for coming in. You guys can finish your your projects here, your crafting. We'll see what you made towards the end of the show. And you can come get your own craft on with products and classes from the Pittsburgh Center for Creative Reuse. It's located next to Construction Junction in Point Breeze on Lexington Avenue. You'll find directions and more details at kdka.com slash PTL.